60,000 years ago, hunter-gatherers in southern Africa were preparing weapons that carried a level of chemical precision few imagined possible for this period. New analysis of microliths from the Umla Tuzana rock shelter shows preserved traces of bufandrine, a potent neurotoxin extracted from the poison bulb plant. The compound can shut down muscle control and breathing within minutes. These stone points were not meant to kill through penetration. They were engineered to deliver a controlled dose of a substance that required isolation, extraction, and careful handling to avoid poisoning the maker. The presence of this toxin on five separate microliths indicates a deliberate process that involved identifying the correct plant, accessing its dangerous bulb, concentrating its secretions, and applying them in a stable form. This level of chemical awareness is rarely associated with people living this far back in time. Yet the evidence is clear. Researchers also detected the same toxin on 18th century South African poisoned arrows collected by ethnographers, revealing continuity and technique across thousands of years. The hunters who crafted the ancient points understood reaction, dosage, and the specific behavior of the poison once inside an animal. They tracked wounded prey for long distances, relying on a weapon that required both chemical skill and strategic planning. The discovery exposes a depth of plant knowledge and technical decision-making that reshapes expectations about early hunter-gatherers and the complexity of their craft.